Dr. Fanny is in the house. We're going to try to put uh, finishing touches on this tonight. So we, we won't be able to reiterate or recap some of the things we shared before. But um, we can make us uh, go through the first five points real quick, uh, starting with point number one. These things are uh, some elements of uh, principles that helps a five-fold ministry to understand, or should I say, help the, la the laity understand the role of the five-fold ministry. The laity is those that are church members, <laughs> those that are part of a, of a ministry. Point number one, all ascension ministries may flow as shepherds, but the, the ascension ministry pastor Shepherd has a special grace to care for and feed the flock. Remember, we discussed that. We talked about uh, how when we get a true shepherd, it's going to lead us to a place of uh, we're going to have what two things going to happen: knowledge and understanding. And we went through Psalms 23, and we talked about that's the shepherd chapter. Uh, yeah, the, the shepherd's chapter, and we went through verse all six verses, and it's 12. It was actually 12 principles, but we kind of concised it. <clears throat> and we talked about how important it is to have a shepherd at the God's own heart. Mm -hmm. Then we went to point number two, which is all essential ministries possess the qualities and character of elder, which implies the character and maturity of the man, manhood before ministry. Mm -hmm. What did we say about the manhood before ministry? It addresses the character. It addresses the character of that person. When, when we say manhood, we're not talking about gender bias. Right. Manhood is the man himself. Like mankind, it's all inclusive. Amen. That's what we're saying. Uh, point number three. I don't want to spend a lot of time on point number two, so to go to point number three. All ascension ministries are governmental, but the apostle carries a special grace in establishing the church on a strong foundation and in government and what? Spiritual order. Spiritual order. Uh, what did we say concerning that? Remember when we went over to 1 Corinthians, uh, the third chapter, mm -hmm. verse 10 through 13? That God graced him to be a wise master builder. Wise master builder, exactly. Mm -hmm. So apostles, or the apostolic, is the ability to take people's lives mm -hmm. and build a foundation. Mm -hmm. Well, who's the foundation? Christ. Christ. Christ is the foundation. Apostles have the ability to do five things. When you got, remember we said there's an apostolic house, mm -hmm. then there's a set man in the apostolic house, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I gave you five things that transpires or the fruit that transpires when you connect to an apostolic house and you have a set man that has an apostolic grace. What was one of them? Revelation. 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 Simply means that they have a tendency to go beneath the surface. Mm -hmm. That the Spirit of God has a tendency to, to unction them and stir them. What was the next point? Impartation. Impartation. Impartation is the second point. So we're looking to come to a point where we can bring impartation. Impartation. Tell your neighbor impartation. impartation. What does impartation mean? Tell your neighbor transfer. transfer. So whenever you hear impartation, you say transfer. Mm -hmm. It's to take one particular characteristic trait or grace or gifting or ability or anointing and then release it to someone else. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm a byproduct of impartation. Amen. Some of you guys are by yeah, product of uh Impartation, and some of y'all are sitting on your impartation. <laughs> and it's time to be released. The third one was perspective, insight. Mm -hmm. Fourth was what? Direction. Direction. And fifth? Foundation. In no particular order. But these five things are what God has given us when we connect to an apostolic house. So you should have a foundation. Mm -hmm. Another name for foundation is core values. Mm -hmm. So you have the same core values. Mm -hmm. Amen. I know. Thank you. Praise the Lord. We think alike. That's why they were so powerful in the first century church. They had the same core values. They had the same mind. Same goals. Same objectives. Well, let me just say this. The goals and objectives may be different. Because we're going to find that out. But there's one agenda. So there's one program. But different characteristics and traits to it. And functions. We're going to find that out tonight. Uh, number four said that all the sister ministries may prophesy, but the prophet carries a special grace in the utterance of God, the oracles, counsel, and the mind of the Lord. Mm -hmm. What did we say about the prophet? That they're not doom and gloom, that they're exhortation, edification, and comfort. The EEC, mm -hmm. edification, exhortation, and comfort. The pastoral 
the, the churches that have just a pastoral design can take away and limit mm -hmm. the proceeding word of God to sure. a ministry. Yeah. We said the spirit of religion and tradition will shut the eye and the mouth of the prophetic. Mm -hmm. We want to get out of religion. We want to get out of tradition. We want to break those old labels Amen. so we can get some new growth in the church. Now, how many know we need some new growth? Amen. Yeah. That means the scriptures come alive to you and your life takes a whole nother direction. Mm -hmm. What was something else we said? They carry within them a spiritual intelligence. They carry within them a spiritual yeah. intelligence. Remember we talked about how mm -hmm. that's what divine revelation or that's what the word uh, vision means mm -hmm. over there in Hosea uh, 12 and 10. Mm -hmm. We need to have spiritual intelligence. That's why you can go up to certain ministries and you can really discern it, the, the level of intelligence in the ministry coming from the pulpit. Mm -hmm. Or you connect to those that have a, 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 a good understanding of what's being said in the pulpit. People should be able to connect with you and notice by your language yes, that there's something different. Mm -hmm. I can get around the Baptist. I can tell the Baptist by the conversation. I can tell any one of the 38 uh, different branches that we got in the church. I can tell when I get around kingdom people. They have a whole nother spiritual intelligence. The language is different. The technology is different. The building apparatus is different. Got that? Yes, sir. Point uh, number five. All ascension ministries may teach, but the ascension gift teacher is especially graced to be grounded in the word. I believe this is where we stopped off at, right? Yes, sir. And there is a difference between a helps type of teacher, which is in uh, Romans 12, 6 to 8, and there's a te ascension gift teacher, which is over in uh, Ephesians 4 and 11. So, there's two types of teachers. Tell your neighbor there's two types of teachers. Two types of teachers. Two types of teachers. You guys, let me know when you want to get in. Yes, sir. Well, I, you know, I thought about this this scripture that you that you mentioned in um, uh, Matthew twenty eight, Matthew twenty eight and nineteen. Nineteen and twenty says this. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always. The thing I thought about about that is that you said that, that we all have the same, that, that we have, uh, that all of these are by grace, you know, and grace is God's ability. And I thought about it, said to observe, to observe all things. And then it's, it's actually mean to, to, um, to attend carefully. Mm -hmm. Or to uh, to guard, mm -hmm. and so it's some things that that we've learned in this house that we must learn to keep and we must guard it, mm -hmm. and we must make sure that we are mindful of the same things that we're being taught, and we must teach the same things that we've been taught in this house. Amen. 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 That's very important. Yeah. It's good to be connected to a ministry that does more teaching than preaching. Yeah. 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 Teaching has a tendency to take what's preached and cause it to be settled in your life. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's when you're preaching, you're throwing, it's almost like a sawed-off shotgun. It's just, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's just, yeah. Yeah. And, then, and whatever it hits, it hits. But when, when you're teaching, you're real deliberate. Mm -hmm. You're real concise. Mm -hmm. You know, and, it, and then sometimes it'll cause you to take one point, and before you know it, it's, it's three, four, five. Yeah. And it just, it's like truth, is, like they say, truth is like a honey. Right. And, <laughs> and you keep peeling one layer after layer after layer after layer. But, but in Romans 12, 6-8, it lets us know a, a teacher 